guys and welcome to today's video where I'll be going through 20 reasons your leopard gecko may not be eating. Now a quick disclaimer, there can be some underlying medical conditions that cause your gecko to lose its appetite. If you are worried about your gecko's health or lack of appetite, please see an exotics vet. So, number one, if you have a female leopard gecko who's an adult and she stopped eating between February and August, there is a chance she may be ovulating. Even if she's never been bred with, this is something that I've documented quite a bit over the years with my own geckos, and I know it can be incredibly stressful. But for more information on that, I do have a female leopard gecko playlist, which I'll link below. Definitely look into that more if you have a female leopard gecko. Number two, your gecko is bored of its food. I find leopard geckos do go through phases of being really into one food, then literally overnight decide it hates it. Um, and I find that if you already offer a varied diet and you have different feeders to hand, so you're offering mealworms, you notice your gecko's turning its nose up, okay, you can quickly try a cricket. Oh, it wants to eat a cricket, fantastic. Whereas if you're a keeper that only has maybe mealworms around and that's it, day in, day out, the gecko gets mealworms you might notice, yeah, your gecko just suddenly stops eating. And it's because it probably wants a variety. So if you can go out and try a different feeder, you might notice it suddenly wants to eat again. Number three, your gecko doesn't see the food. Now this might sound kind of silly, but if I put a bunch of worms in a bowl for my leopard geckos, they wouldn't recognize the bowl as food. They might not even go up to it to look for food, let alone eat it. So in this case, try taking a worm or a cricket or a roach, whatever it may be, and placing one at a time in front of your gecko. Not too close, not too far away, just in the line of view. Number four, they're new. So if you've just got a leopard gecko, whether it's a baby, juvenile or adult, and it's in a new environment, it is very likely that it won't eat straight away. In some cases it does, and that's amazing, but if it takes a few days or even a week, that's normal. If it goes on for too long though and you are concerned, please see a vet. Number five, the temperatures are incorrect. Now whether it's too hot or too cold, this will impact your gecko's appetite. The hot end in a leopard gecko tank should be 90 degrees Fahrenheit or 32 degrees Celsius and the cold side can be room temperature. Be sure to check this temperature with a digital or laser thermometer. Do not use one of those analog ones stuck on the side of the tank that won't give you an accurate reading of the basking or hot area. And to control the temperature, use a thermostat. Number six, your gecko is full. So I tend to feed babies, so naught to six months every day. Juveniles, six to 12 months every other day and adults, 12 months and above every three or four days. In some cases, people are unaware of this and think they need to feed their adult like every day. And they're like, why is it not eating? I'm so worried. And actually one, it's probably gaining too much weight. And two, it's probably just really full. So make sure you're not overfeeding. Number seven, your leopard gecko has just shed its skin. Now I see this more of an appetite blocker for babies since they get a little bit full from eating all of their skin. And it doesn't tend to affect adults as much. But if your gecko does go off of eating around the shedding period, just from maybe the stress of shedding, that isn't too concerning. Number eight, cohabbing. So anytime I've sort of encountered people trying to keep two or more geckos together, they often find that one will almost be the dominant one that gets all the food, also the others suffer, so you'll end up with one like chunky gecko and one skinny malnourished one. So if you have even two females together, they can bully each other, male and female, they'll mate and we do not want that, and two males will fight to the death. So just in general, unless you have a massive tank and plenty of food and a really good setup, look, let's just stick to one on their own. Number nine, impaction. So this is the first of a few illnesses I'll mention that can cause a lack of appetite. I won't list every single thing because for the most part a sudden lack of appetite and weight loss can be an indicator of illness anyway, but impaction in particular can be due to incorrect temperatures, non-natural substrates, dehydration. It can all cause a blockage in your gecko's digestive system, resulting in a lack of appetite. Number 10, metabolic bone disease. If your gecko is malnourished, you don't provide the correct supplements, and now your gecko has developed a spongy jaw or other symptoms of MBD, then it will be difficult for your gecko to eat, they'll be very weak, and you must see a vet and adjust your care as soon as possible. 
Number 11, your gecko's food is too big. Now I find with adults, they're pretty good at handling a range of feeders, but particularly babies and juveniles, if you're offering them very large worms, like a Morio worm or a giant mealworm, I wouldn't really recommend those large worms for young geckos anyway, or very large roaches or locusts, crickets, they're gonna refuse to eat them. So make sure you pick them at an appropriate size for your gecko. Equally though, I do find that some adults may refuse or just flat out ignore food if it's too small for them. Number 12, your gecko gets too many treats. So I've seen this more often in cases where someone has rescued a gecko from someone else and the previous keeper just kept their gecko on Mario worms or wax worms, two foods that should only be given as treats. And this can be tricky because they start to refuse healthier foods They've got lazy, they don't want to chase after food because they're used to this slow moving prey. So something you can do is like, you could offer a wax worm but have it surrounded by calci worms. It's a similar texture, similar movement and calci worms are far healthier. If they don't want to move for a cricket then you could try locusts, they tend to be a bit slower. You can also use tongs so the cricket isn't rushing about straight away and your gecko gets a healthier meal than maybe a Morio worm and eventually once they get a taste for a you know a cricket or a locust or a roach or something they might be more motivated to chase after it but if you have a young gecko now it's good to offer a varied diet at the beginning of its life because I did that with Maui and he has never turned his nose up to any food. Number 13 mouth rot or other injuries if there's any injuries or bacterial infections on your gecko, this can cause a lack of appetite and requires veterinary care. Number 14, partial brumation. Usually in the winter months when the air pressure drops, it is quite usual to find your gecko slows down a bit, sleeps more and eats less. Notably though, they shouldn't be losing much weight despite not eating. Number 15, your gecko has been bred with. Similar to ovulation, if you are breeding your geckos and your gecko is carrying fertile eggs, she'll likely go off her food until she lays that clutch. Number 16, the feeders aren't gut loaded. So it's really important that we treat our feeder insects well and keep them fed and hydrated. After all, you are what you eat and that applies to our geckos too. We want to make sure their food is packed full of nutrition. If food isn't fed, if it's weak or dying, it's going to be less appealing to your geckos. Interestingly, I've also found that sometimes switching what you feed the insects can also have a knock-on effect on your gecko's feeding response. Number 17, the feeder insects are dead or dried. So you may have seen those buckets of mealworms you can get for wild birds. These are not suitable for your reptiles and generally reptiles respond to movement and smell. So a dead dried worm is just good for no one. Number 18, parasites. Now I do already have a whole video dedicated to parasites. It's quite an interesting one. Now to determine if your gecko is infected you'll need to do a faecal exam. This can be done through your vet or a private lab company and once you've established whether or not your gecko has parasites then you have to talk to a vet for what medicine your gecko may need. Number 19, feeding at the wrong time of the day. So generally because leopard geckos are crepuscular it is recommended that you either feed them in the evening or first thing in the morning not during the day. That's when they'll be sleeping. And number 20, your existing gecko has either got a new tank or you've just cleaned their tank. And this may sound silly, but a new environment can cause stress, which puts them off of their food. And I know in particular males react worse in a new or clean environment. And you'll often see them frantically scent marking in their new tank or on clean hides. So don't be too worried if you've just given your gecko an upgrade or you've just cleaned everything out and now they're hiding and now they don't want to eat. Just give them a little time to settle in. Obviously, there are probably loads of different reasons your gecko may not be eating. I know for a fact that one of my geckos, if you put in a load of food at once, it gets a little overwhelmed and it just doesn't pick anything. So I have to put one in at a time so it can concentrate on that, like, one cricket. You know, our geckos, you get to know their personality a bit and see what works best for them. But I hope this top 20 has helped. Maybe it's given you some answers. If you haven't already, 
please subscribe. But thank you for watching, guys, and goodbye.